And we can't give too much away, but where is the Terminator when we uh, find him in this film? Uh, Terminator has been, uh, you know, kind of uh, around, <laughs> and he has been uh, he has been terminating things, but uh, <laughs> busy, uh, busy, busy. Yeah, he's been busy, busy, exactly, working overtime. <laughs> and um, but uh, also at the same time, he has lived now enough time with human beings that he actually has acquired some kind of human behaviours. And you've got a job. I mean, you've got a day job, the Terminator. Well, in order to infiltrate and in order to be, like, to blend in, I am a, uh, um, a drapery salesman. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> now, so, did you choose? Did you choose that? Because you could have been an electrician, a plumber, anything. No, did that's, you choose that's actually Jim Cameron's uh, idea. But I then developed the character a little bit more <laughs> and then uh, improvised some of the lines that are very funny. Uh, it is very funny. You will laugh. Adorable. You, you will laugh. I'm guessing this is jogging no memory for you, Nadia. You've never had a disaster in the kitchen like this. I've had loads of disasters. No, in, but one in, one in particular, I was baking quite a lot and um, it was during Bake Off and um, my poor oven was on overdrive anyway and it just it was making a funny noise I tried to ignore it and then I just kind of went down and it was pastry week and I was making volivants and the pastry was really delicate and it was finally working after about 12 goes and then the oven door blew off just just <laughs> boom <laughs> Out into my, and, and you know how when a kid is about to fall, when your child is about to fall, you just go to save it. That's how <laughs> I felt about my pastry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, save the pastry! And I kind of lunged and I grabbed the oven door and oh. it was boiling hot. Ow. And so then kind of it slid down my chocolate melted skin. Oh. And then it was just kind of a bit bloody. And it was a bank holiday. I'd blown the head gasket on the car. <laughs> so I was just sat there and I just, I remember just bleeding and very burnt. And I just said, my pastry. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. But uh, then you won and it was all and fine. Was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it took the pain away. All the pain yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that so iconic. Uh, the Andy Warhol uh, <laughs> image, which is so famous. Oh, there you are with Andy, but here's the actual, mm -hmm. the actual painting. And it's been reproduced so many times, but yeah. you still have an original, right? Mm hmm. So you're okay? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is it? Is it in your house? No, it's uh, on the road. See, I sent it out on the road. I, I'm, it's touring without yeah, you. Yeah, it's touring without <laughs> you. It's really, it's, uh, it's at the Chicago Art Institute right now. There's a, uh, a very big uh, retrospective of all of Andy's work, which I found uh, a revelation. I mean, I, I had no idea that he did s some of the things that, you know, very early on, he's very uh, genius, really. Because you, Arnold, you were kind of part of that world. He, he was a fan of yours. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Jamie Wyeth, who is a famous painter in America, painted me at that time at Warhol studio. And then Warhol was there, you know, pretty much every day. And then he took Polaroid shots. I think we've got started, some of the Polaroid... There's one of the Polaroids there. And he started there. painting me also, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's one of them. But there's one <laughs> with, a, with a, a flexing the muscles, and he, he liked that one. And it was really... <laughs> All kinds of weird stuff that was going on there. One day I walked in, then Jamie Wires was painting me, and I was holding this pose. And uh, the next thing I know is there was this big table, and uh, there was like around 10, 12 naked men coming into the room, and then they were lying on top of the table and on top of each other, and then Andy would rearrange it and all this stuff. <laughs> and then he would take a shot mm -hmm. uh, with a certain lighting. <laughs> he would take a photograph, a Polaroid. And uh, then he would come to me and he would say, he says, look at this. He says, if you cut this off and you cut this off, it looks like landscapes. I'm going to call it the landscapes. And that's exactly the painting that he did. He just of the asses, kind of like of the, <laughs> the asses, which is, really, you know, I, 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 when, you, when really I'm close, lost. you couldn't really tell <laughs> yeah, yeah. really what it was, you know, and he, he didn't paint it that. So he was very creative. He was a genius in, 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 in the way he went about his art. And at that time, it was not as much appreciated but I think that when he passed away, uh, people realized of what kind of a great artist he was. And now, of course, his art is selling for 60, 80 million dollars at auctions and 100 million dollars. <laughs> 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 so you're okay. Yeah. Bring <laughs>